So, you still have Snap Camera. Maybe you watched my video on how to get Jakku's Snap Camera. Or you watched my second video on how to get P. Trumpus's version of Jakku's Snap Camera. And you want to start letting chat change what filter is applied while you're streaming. However, you hate having so many hotkeys used up, and there's so many cool filters, and you don't want to limit them to only a few, or constantly rotate to new filters every week. Well, for a few weeks now, I have been working on a way to change your snap camera filter with only one hotkey set up within snap camera, but being able to change to any lens you have favorited. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get it, how it works, and how I use it with Sammy, and how you can install my button on your Sammy and get it working for your chat. First, you need to head over to my website, download Tony's automated snap camera.zip, and then extract the files anywhere on your PC. Look inside and run Snap Camera Lens List Creator. When the window opens, click the backup button and locate your settings.json and select it and then select OK. This will create a backup folder with the backup of this file and you can do this as many times as you'd like. This is handy just in case you don't like the program and want all your original settings back or any other errors associated with this file. I would recommend running this before making any changes anytime you want to download new filters or set a new hotkey. Once this is done, you can keep the program running and launch Snap Camera to erase all current hotkey settings and set your new single hotkey to a single lens. Copy the exact format of the hotkey displayed inside of Snap Camera and apply that to the lens shortcut.txt file located in the download. Fully close the program to overwrite with the new settings. Now on the program we left open, click the Generate Lens IDs button. This will attempt to locate the settings.json file and parse out a list of all your lens IDs to a file for your stream automation to read into a variable. If it doesn't find your settings file automatically, it should prompt you to select it manually and will then generate the list. And for the Find Snap Camera button, all this does is it prompts you to locate the Snap Camera executable that you would like the program to launch and then it takes that exact path and appends it to another text file that the program uses. You are now ready to test it by opening the lensids.txt, copying a lens ID, and then pasting that inside of chatlensid.txt, and launching the change snap camera settings program. It should launch and shortly after apply the lens that matches the ID you copy and pasted within the files. Once we know this is working, we can then set up our stream automation tools to allow chat to choose a new lens while we're live. So now you're going to want to go back to the download, find the sammybutton.txt, open it up, and hit Ctrl A to select everything within the folder. Don't copy it yet though. Now go ahead and open up Sammy, and find the deck that you want to put the button inside of. Once you find the right place, go ahead and copy all of the stuff that you just selected, and then import from JSON where you want the button to be. Once the button is created, you can open it up and change everything that needs to be changed. I will show you how to do it step by step. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit and you can slow it down when you need to or pause it as you go. I also put a step by step guide in the comments available within Sammy. Once you have all the paths set, all the variables created, and your OBS settings changed on within inside the button, you can now go into OBS and prepare to test everything out. So here, you can see me activating my channel point redemption and entering in a message. This message includes the filter I would like to select. In the first instance, I chose random, which allows chat to choose a random lens, though I do have a list of lenses as a command that is also visible in this video within the Twitch chat. I then start to activate the redemption more than once, changing to a different number each time, each number representing a different lens. I show the way my command for VIPs and the channel point redemption is set up, as well as how I described using the redemption for viewers. There you have it. Now you can have an unlimited amount of snap camera filters all attached to a single hotkey that chat can choose from and change using commands, redemptions, donations, you name it. I would love to see someone use this as well as someone using it with StreamerBot and other kind of stream automation tools and make a video on it. Hopefully someone can redo my work to improve the programs also. As long as everybody enjoys the new possibilities, I'm fine with it. Till next time.